everybody out there in TV land. Welcome to the clubhouse. My name is Alice and I'm super happy to see y'all. Since we last met, we got into the yard a little bit, made some fresh pasta from scratch, and took the trash bins all the way out to the street. Oh boy. That sunshine though sure felt lovely. We mowed and poked around in the garden yesterday only to discover that we lost all our tomato plants to that super weird mid-April frost. Don't worry, we have some more seedlings inside. We also discovered that those fire ants have come back with a vengeance. I mean, look at those mounds. Time for the flamethrower. JK, that's really just some dirt we're moving around to make it a little less lumpy out there. But you know, dear friends, you know where there are not any mean, angry red fire ants with a score to settle? That would be right here in my amazing paper flower bouquet. How's that for a transition? Pretty smooth, right? Yeah, so today we're going to get into some paper flowers. There are precisely four gajillion different ways to make these beauties, but this one is mine. I developed it over the course of my undergraduate coursework in folding right angles. It's a liberal arts degree. I minored in cheese curds. Go Badgers. That's Wisconsin, y'all. <laughs> right. Well, for this project, you'll want to open your paper flowers, five-in-one, drive-by paper flower kit. Hint, hint. We have these super fun color combos for sale at our site, 5 in one socialclubcom I had loads of fun this week when I opened this box. Oh, from Dunder Mifflin. That's right. I ordered one of every color just for y'all. I mean, it was a little bit for me. Such fun. Anyway, to get started with this one, you're going to need a pair of scissors, some tissue paper, or if your five-in-one drive-by crafting paper flower kit hasn't come in the mail yet, you can use some newspaper. This one's actually newsprint. Or you can use magazine pages. Very cool. Or you can just go watch a this, is, this old Tony video until the mail carrier gets there. So along with tissue paper, you'll also need pipe cleaners. You can use the twisty ties that come on your bread or even just some thin wire. I love using the pipe cleaners because when you're making a million of these, the fuzzies on here really make it easier on your fingers. You can cut them in half or use the extra length to easily hang or string your flowers together. So step one is pre prepping your tissue. Our tissue measures 20 by 30 inches. So I'm actually gonna cut them in half along the folded seam in the center to make two sheets that are 15 by 20. I'm just gonna slide in on the fold there. It's a-okay if they're not perfect because we're gonna be cutting that edge off in just a minute. Whew. So next we're gonna choose the colors and the order that we'd like to put them in. This part can take days, y'all. There are just so many options. So I really like to add a darker contrasting color between the center or stamens and the petals. I also like to use green as an outer petal. Both will give your flower a great pop. I like to use multiple sheets of each color. You can alternate or stack those same colored sheets. Um, so let's put a few of those together. I am using the Desert Bloom colorway, which I'm super excited about. How pretty is that pink? So I'm going to alternate, I think, this pink with the orange, and then I'm going to stack this pale pink together. And then I have some lovely yellow and green, and I'm going to put this gray on that outer edge. Let's see, how many sheets is that? Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Too many sheets, that's how many. <laughs> All right. So the number of sheets you use will dictate, decide the size of your flower. Um, these flowers can be up to 15 inches in diameter. You can use uh, six, we use six to 10 sheets on average for a nice full flower. More than 15 sheets and they get really bulky and tricky to open. Look at this beautiful sunflower. It was made by the fabulous shop gal Sarah with a whopping 23 sheets of tissue. Whoa. 
So we're going to get these stacked, and then our next step is to accordion fold them together. Let me show you that. All right. So you want to keep your fold small. You're aiming for about an inch. And we're just going to go back and forth, folding that accordion style. I'm trying to keep those folds nice and even, using my thumb to line up each layer. We tried making a wider fold, but it makes your flower nearly impossible to get apart. We did come up with some tricks though to make a wider petal, but it's all in the cutting. almost done now. So next we're going to pull these tissue sheets apart into their kind of petal groups. All right, this is not the tidiest folding job, but that's all right. I'm going to cut these two in half. And you can do this before you fold it as well, but these center petals are going to be shorter. So we don't need them. We can save this for another flower. All right, so here I have one petal group. I'm going to do these guys together. And you can decide how many sheets are in each petal group. You can do just one, you can do two or even three together. So I'm going to take these all right. So I've ended up with four petal groups. I've made a diagram for you of the different styles of petals that I've come up with. Let me show you these. So these shapes I think are really great for the interior petals. So smaller shapes. These are great for those middle petals. Some great shape ideas. You'll see there each thing is kind of getting bigger. And then for your really large outer petals, these are kind of half. When you open them up, it'll make a full petal. It's quite magical. So you'll get a nice larger shape from these. So we're going to go ahead and cut those layers. Fold them in half and find the center. So as you work from the center to the outer petals, your layers are going to get longer, which is why I cut this one in half. You'll want there to be at least an inch of difference between each layer. All right, so let's cut this one. I think I'm just going to do some little triangles. Those are always fun. And they don't have to be perfect which is good because these totally are not. All right, so there's my interior. So my next layer, I guess, was this coral. And I think I'm gonna do, so we want these a little, about an inch shorter. So I've folded it in half, you can check that. I'm gonna cut it here, just so I make sure to get it about the right size. So this guy, I think I'm also going to go pointy, and instead of three, I'm going to do one and a half. Do that same on the other side. Show you that. So we have this one where we cut three, 
And then as we get further out, we're gonna go a little bit bigger. So I think for my next petal, I might do something round, mix it up a little. And again, I'm gonna make sure that I have the length that I want. So about an inch. I'm just gonna cut a big round petal there. Now for my last and very outer petal, this beautiful smoky gray, I'm gonna do a nice big petal. And that'll be really fun. You'll see how that lines up when we unfold them to become a big fat petal. So now, and this part can be a little tricky, we're gonna put our shapes back together. So you may have to flop your tissue around a little bit to get it to go right. So you'll wanna notice which is your valley fold and then your mountain folds. That can help. I have a weird little overhang of tissue on one side that's shorter. That's probably gonna help me get these together. But you want to, as much as you can, um, get those back together in the same order. And then as I'm laying it down, I'm also checking that it's centered. Ooh, already that's a really pretty color combination. Let's see, so this one looks like it might go this way. So far so good, y'all. Sometimes I get confused and I have to flip flop quite a bit to get it to go right. All right, now we're gonna squish all those layers back up together. Oh. And we're going to tie. I'm using green, cause you know flowers. So I'm gonna tie that center with a pipe cleaner. You can use any color you want. You honestly really won't see these. So now for the big reveal of your glorious beauty, we're gonna gently separate those petals, working one careful layer at a time. So we'll separate it and then fluff them. So first we open up this way. Now I'm gonna slide my finger in between the layers and lift. Once I make it all the way around, I'll pull each petal up to make sure it's opened all the way. So work slowly and gently. Don't worry too much if you tear the petals a little, you won't notice it when you're done. All right, so we're just gonna slide our finger in there like so and gently pull up. We'll do the next one. So we're just giving it a good little fluff. Starting, you wanna just do one layer at a time for a beautiful full flower. So we're just gonna keep going around. So I'm pulling it up and giving it a little fluff at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna take you off the detail cam. We're gonna be here for a sec as we open it up to reveal those super pretty colors. And then that pale green, well, I almost couldn't see it. There it is again. And I'm just making sure that as I work that after it's all the way um, peeled, you kind of give it an extra little lift and just make sure those petals are standing up nicely. Depending on how many tissue papers you've used, this can be a little trickier. The more tissue you have, the more tissue layers you have, um, the harder it will be to pull apart, particularly this first initial center area. Ooh, all right. So that blushing pink. Again, this is one of the kits, color kits, colorway kits we put together. Um, it's called Desert Bloom. 
and this is half of the colors you'll get. And it's enough to make, I don't know, depending on how many pieces of tissue you make, you might get six or eight flowers out of it total. So there's those other larger spiky shapes. When I'm working right at that seam, I like to make sure those layers are overlapping a little bit. So you're kind of closing that gap as you go. Oh, who else is super into this orange and gray? My goodness, y'all, so pretty. And then there's that little hint of pink. All right. I love this stage. Very water lily. And look at those beautiful big gray petals. Isn't that pretty? I just love these so much. They're festive and fun and make any room or window look like something fantastic is about to happen there. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This is Alice signing off from our Summer Avenue Clubhouse. See you soon.